Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Today I want to talk about a default setting in Lightroom that you may want to consider changing. Now, as you probably know, Lightroom is a non-destructive raw editor. What that means is when you edit a file in Lightroom, it doesn't write any of your edits directly into the file. It leaves the file alone. Instead, it puts those edits by default in the Lightroom catalog. Then, when you display an image such as this in Lightroom, this is a RAW file, it will take that RAW file that is unedited, it will then create a JPEG with those edits you've done to it that is displayed right here in the middle of Lightroom. So as I go in and I start editing it, it will again just apply those edits to this displayed JPEG and it doesn't touch that original RAW file and all those edits get written to the catalog. Well, that's fine and dandy, but if your catalog becomes corrupted and you don't have a recent backup of that catalog, you're going to lose all your edits, maybe on all of your images, at least on some of them. There is a setting in Lightroom, though, that will help you uh, kind of back up the edits, is the way I guess I'll put it. What you need to do on a Mac, go to Lightroom Classic Top Menu. On a PC, it's under the Edit Menu, and you want to go to Catalog Settings. You're going to want to go to this third tab, Metadata. And right here, there is a checkbox, Automatically Write Changes into XMP. You can see that mine is checked. By default, that won't be checked. Check it. Once you check it, what Lightroom will do is it will still write your edits to the catalog, but it will also create a small sidecar file that is kept in the same folder as the original image. Inside of that sidecar file, all your edits are there, as well as other metadata items such as your copyright info, location info, keywords, and so on. So your raw file still stays unedited and pristine. You don't run any risk of corrupting the original raw file, but you have your edits now in this separate file. And if you want to see what I'm talking about, if you right click on an image and on a Mac, you go down to show and finder on a PC that will probably say something like show in file explorer. And when you do that, it will open up the folder and you can see that this specific image is underscore DSC 0263.nef. And right below that is that XMP file. It has the same uh, name at the beginning, underscore DSC 0263, but it's .xmp. You can see that I edited this image today. Those edits are there. And you can see that it's only 69 kilobits in size or kilobytes in size. So it's really a small file. It's not going to really take up a lot of room on your system. I really strongly suggest you do this because over the years, I've had many people contact me that have corrupted catalogs in Lightroom and they're back up. They back up once a week. They lost a whole week's worth of edits. They back up, you know, not at all. They lost all their edits. Uh, they can't find their backup files, things like that. I mean, anything could happen, and you have it here. That way, if the catalog does become corrupted, what you could do is just create a new catalog, re-import all these images into Lightroom, and when you re-import them into Lightroom, it will read the XMPs, and it will have all your edits intact. It will have all the metadata intact. Um, it's just something that I think Adobe should have default as on, but they don't. So definitely consider do that, doing this. Now, once you do it, what will happen is when you're in a folder, Lightroom in the background will be creating these XMP files for your existing images that are already in Lightroom. If you have a lot of images in Lightroom, this could take a long time. So if you open up a folder that says, that say has a thousand images in it, it's going to start creating those XMP files right away. And when you go to close down Lightroom, you may get a little warning box telling you that Lightroom is creating XMP files. Do you really want to close Lightroom? You could still close Lightroom. It will just resume once you reopen Lightroom. And you may find that it will do this over a long period of time, like a week, two weeks, 
um, you'll it'll be creating these XMP files in the background. But again, the XMP files are very, very small. They don't take up a lot of space on your hard drive. And they don't take very long to create. It's just if you have a lot of images in your Lightroom catalog and you just click that checkbox. Again, that checkbox is in the Lightroom Classic um, catalog settings menu um, on a PC or on a Mac. On a PC, it's under the edit menu. And it's that third tab from the left or the last tab. Automatically right changes to XMP. Make sure you check that. That's it. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.